Near the end, John McCain retreated to a place he had grown to love, his home near Sedona, Arizona. He loves nature. He likes getting back to it and the, and the uh, streams that run through his little spread. It's very evident the emotion that he feels for this particular bend in the river, uh, which is where his home is. Yeah, yeah, I do some, yeah. In raw footage of a 1999 ABC interview with Sam Donaldson in Window Rock, we came across this unguarded moment between takes, Senator McCain pointing out the natural beauty around them. Look at these wildflowers, Sam, aren't they pretty? Well, you got, you got 19 inches of rain. Look at the purple. See the purple ones? The older you get, the more you appreciate wildflowers and beauty. Is that true? Absolutely. Senator McCain spent nearly all of his long, legendary life serving his country. Three decades in the United States Senate, a quarter century in the Navy. A U.S. Navy pilot with a rather prominent name was shot down during a raid against North Vietnam. While flying bombing missions over North Vietnam, he was shot down, captured, and tortured, surviving nearly six years as a prisoner of war. But he always denied being a hero. I steadfastly reject that label. The heroes of my life are those whose names are engraved on the wall down at the Vietnam War Memorial on the Mall. He was reluctant when people said, you're a great hero, you're a war hero. John McCain, by being shot down by a Soviet missile over Hanoi, did not consider that he had performed a heroic act. He was an avid reader and prolific writer, author of seven books with Mark Salter. He would tell you, were he here, the life he chose to live is the most rewarding life a human being could live. Sam Donaldson asking McCain about his first book, Faith of Our Fathers. I believe the overall message is the redemptive powers of a commitment to a cause greater than one's self-interest, even if that commitment is made by imperfect people. He is wickedly funny. Come on, Obama's gonna have plenty of chances to be president, it's my turn. <laughs> he does not take himself too seriously, but he takes his cause incredibly seriously. There's literally no difference between the public John McCain and the private John McCain. What you see is what you get. I'm afraid Mr. Putin might be one of those who wants to make the trains run on time. That's one of the great aspects of his political life, was that he walked the walk. He was the guy that you could rely on to always tell you what he believed. I think that we have to examine every agency of government and find out those that are doing their job and keep them, and find out those that aren't and eliminate them. He was plain spoken to a fault, breathtakingly blunt. He was an idiosyncratic Republican, a devout maverick, an original American. John McCain the Maverick. John McCain loved to go in his own direction, unafraid to say things that were unpopular with whoever he was talking to, and that included the leadership of his own party. We're here to vote. We're not here to block things. John McCain loved a fight. John McCain, in some ways, loved a fight with members of his own party more than any. I say to my friend from Utah, you're not going to win every fight here. You're not going to win every battle here. It should not be surprising that the final political battle of the senator's life was against the leader of his own party, President Trump. It began after McCain criticized then-candidate Trump, Trump firing back in an attack that stunned so many. But, but Frank, he's Frank, let me get hero. to it. He's he hit me. Hero. He's not a war hero. He's a war hero. He's a war Five hero because he was captured. I like people that weren't captured, okay? I hate to tell you. Couldn't believe it. Uh, I just couldn't believe it. How do you do that? How do you uh, belittle the, the service of somebody who's given so much? And it was so deeply offensive, not just on a personal level to McCain, but to all those Americans who had been captured. There had been POWs coming from somebody who avoided draft. I mean, it was a deeply offensive thing. But I remember calling him, and he said, calm down. It doesn't make me look bad. It makes him look bad. He's a fool, and he's acting like a fool. 
couldn't care less. I mean, this is part of what characterizes John McCain. The, the worst insult you could possibly give to this man is not even close to what was done to him for five and a half years as a prisoner of war in Vietnam. The character of the man shining through, his friends say, right up until the end. In his last significant vote and final speech in the place he considered hallowed ground, the floor of the Senate. Came back after having surgery, literally after having brain surgery. Mandating legislation from the top down without any support from the other side, with all the parliamentary maneuvers that requires. We're getting nothing done, my friends. We're getting nothing done. And gave an impassioned speech about the need for the parties to come together to come to a solution to replace Obamacare. Let's return to regular order. We've been spinning our wheels on too many important issues because we keep trying to find a way to win without help from across the aisle. And then three days later, with a single defiant gesture striking down what he saw as misguided legislation, an attempt to repeal but not replace Obamacare. With the down pointing of his thumb, he sank the effort to, with one blow, eliminate the Affordable Care Act. It was a dramatic vote. It was McCain, his last big maverick independent move. And he tanked the top legislative priority for his party. Now you say, well, was that, was that a revenge against Donald Trump? Well, I don't know. President Trump never forgave John McCain for that vote. Even as McCain was dying in Arizona, Trump would bring it up at rallies. Three o'clock in the morning, thumbs down. Thumbs down. Thumbs down. Some would say John McCain's whole life led him to that moment, a life that was a profile in courage. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.